So we go to aggregate, and here what we're going to do is that we're going to aggregate the uh, mean of the weight of the participant based on the gender. So we're going to break this variable, this variable which is the mean weight based on gender, and then we click on OK. Now, as you can see, this is the mean weight for the male category, it's 83, and the mean weight for the female category is 63.53. Now we need to subtract the weight from the weight mean so we can get the difference which we are going to use to calculate the one way and over. To do that, just go to transform and compute variable. We get this variable, we call it the weight difference. So let's just call it weight diff. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to subtract the weight of the participant we're going to subtract the weight, the mean weight from the weight of the participants in order to get the difference between those two variables. Now we click on OK and a new variable called the weight diff is going to be calculated in SPSS. Now as you can see, we now have the weight difference. We get the absolute of this variable here. So what we just go to is go to transform and compute variable. And then we change this, we get the ABS. So we put in the ABS, which is for the absolute value. Or you can just go to all, all values here and then select the ABS. That's just the same thing. So you can just put in that variable here, which is the weight, and then click on OK. It will ask you if you want to change the variable. You click on OK to change the variable, and that should generate the variable for horse. Now, as you can see that we now have the absolute difference for the weight of the participant. Now we're going to carry out an independent sample t-test on this variable based on the gender so we can see if we will get the exact same value we got for the previous Levin's test we carried out. So what we have to do is that actually let's run a one way and over instead because that one will not generate the Levin's test automatically for us. So we go to analyze and we go to compare mean and go to the one way and over. So here instead of using the wave because we want to do a Levin's test we are not looking for the one way and over here. We select the weight diff we just calculated, select the options and untick the homogeneity of variance because we're not interested in that now. We want to do a Levin's test. And this is just to show you what the Levin's test does. Now, as you can see here, this is the one way and over. And you can see this is actually the one way and over we did before on the actual weight, which is shown that there's a significant difference between the weight of the male and female participant. But this one way and over here, which was done on the absolute difference for the weight, is actually 0 0.095, which is not statistically significant, and it's exactly the same as what we did for the Levin's test. So as you can see, this is 0 0.095, and this is also 0 0.095. The Levin's statistics is 2.8, the F statistic is 2.8. So basically, this is what the Levin's test does. It finds out that there's a significant difference between your category based on the absolute difference for the dependent variable. I just did this to show you what the Levin's test actually does, and as you can see here, Using the one way and over on the absolute diff for the wave, we can see that there is equality of variances or homogeneity of variances as it's sometimes called. Now the other type of Levin's test you can carry out is the non-parametric Levin's test, which is considered to be more robust if your data is not normally distributed or your distribution is skewed. To carry that out, you will do a one way and over on the ranks of the mean. Now how do we go about the process of that? First we go into transform and then rank cases we rank the weight of the participant so the subject weight put it in the variable list and then click on ok we get the rank first once we have the rank then we are now going to aggregate the mean rank of the weight to do that you go into data go into aggregate change this from weight to the rank of weight and then based on gender and then click ok now, as you can see, we now have the rank weight for the mean, and we have that for the female participant and for the male participant. For the female participant, the rank weight is 79, the mean rank weight is 79, and for the male participant, the mean rank weight is 181. And you can see that the, the male rank weight is actually higher for the male participant than the female participant. Now we have to subtract the rank weight mean from the rank weight so we can get the absolute difference and we can do a one way and over on the absolute difference. In order to do that, we go to transform and compute variable. And here we get the rank weight diff. 
So let's just use R to represent the rank weight since we already have a different variable looking at the weight difference. So here, the rank weight is the variable we're going to put here, rank weight minus the rank weight mean. And then we're going to click on OK. Now that we've got the rank weight difference, which is the difference between the rank weight and the rank weight mean, we can get the absolute value for the rank weight difference and then conduct a one way and over on that, which is going to produce the non parametric Levin's test, which I told you earlier is a much robust Levin's test when your variable is skewed or the distribution of your variable is skewed. Do that, just go to transform and compute variable, get the absolute value of that rank weight difference, and then click on OK. You know, this absolute value is just the one we got from down here, and then click on OK. And then it asks you if you want to change the variable. Yeah, you can change the variable. Just click OK, and that's it. Now here we do the one way and over. Now we go to we go back here to analyze, to compare mean, and then one way and over. We change this from the weight difference to the rank weight difference, which we did, and then we click on OK. Now as you can see, that this is 0.675, and the previous one we did was 0 0.095. So this is actually way more statistically insignificant compared to the previous one we did and this actually shows that there is equality of variances or homogeneity of variances between the two categories of interest between the weight of the male and the female participant so now that you've ascertained that there's equality of variance you can proceed with conducting the test you want to conduct but in the case that the Levin's test is the actual test you're using you've pretty much conducted the Levin's test and this is your result. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I would have covered the Levin's test using the median but you will rarely use it. The two most important Levin's tests is the traditional Levin's test you will get in SPSS and the second one is the non-parametric Levin's test which I just showed you and the non-parametric Levin's test is used when your data is skewed. Thank you once again for watching this tutorial.